have a comfortable cushion of winter side of Rams to try and keep himself safe. But Niall, very different gameplay coming up here as they have started off on Sky Arena platforms. Yep, Sky Arena platforms benefiting both sides this time because we have two stripes on screen. And look at the speed boost. Look at them schmoving with oh the my jelly God. legs up in here going all over the screen right now, AJ. Oh my God, strike go. Brrr. He's <laughs> flying everywhere. And it's, it's going to be so difficult to track him down. And I think that's a big thing that it's uh, going to be the big determiner of who walks away with this stuff. Oh, he used the TNT to challenge it before he could get the dare. That was actually pretty smart on house arrest. He's pretty much been the only one I've seen utilize TNT in that type of like solid fashion aggressively and on recovery. Oh yeah, it works best. It works good as a defensive option, as an aggressive option, and Strike pretty much becomes a hitbox when that move is first sent out. So there's a ton of things that you can do with TNT, and if it's in the right hand, you can get some really good value off of it. He tried to bite that TNT right there, but he got shot out of it, so he wasn't able to utilize it. But he did get back on stage. Chainsaw mix-up. Of course, you can cancel out of that before you go in. Most of the time, people do do that as a mix-up so they can find an opener. But <laughs> very even game right now. That's multiple shots. That's a dare, and that's going to be House Arrest striking first. Yeah, very good down here to get that KO. And now House Arrest trying to play a little bit of keep away, trying to get some stage control back of Ruffle Crumb. Getting that Glock out and able to get the side air. Really good KO there from Ruffle Crumbs to make this even. Ruffle Crumbs showing that it's not just the Aria. He's got more than one to go. And this uh, this strike looking very solid at that. Even game between both. Uh, stage control in favor of Ruffle Crumbs, but he is going to get smacked away by that stare. And now the combo has started. Yeah, right now as we see a couple of those gems being thrown out as well. Oh, look at the manipulation of the buzzsaw. Really good movement right there. But here comes Ruffle Crumbs throwing out the reticle. Able to get those shots in. House Arrest responding with the side air though. Really good side air to TNT recovery, Ajax. It, it actually mattered so much that he did that because it shifted him upwards. He actually got away from the drop-in side air from Ruffle Crumbs. If he doesn't do that, he's he gets knocked out. But now, one, and a two, and a three, as he goes ahead and takes him out off the bottom. And it was an incredibly close match at that. But one thing that House Arrest was a little bit better at was utilizing that auto reticle to mix up his ways on those punishes. And that's going to give him the first game. Yeah, great stuff right there, House Arrest. Able to line up those shots and get some <laughs> really good edge guards going. That is exactly what you want to see from a strike player. Be able to use the, the buzzsaw to be able to get that speed boost. You have the reticle being set up, able to get the edge guards. And when you need to, you can set up your own little ledge trap off of the walls or go out there and just side air. Honestly, it's such a great move. Hey, let's see if uh, let's see if Ruffle Crumbs decides to stick it out with the stripe. Of course, uh, Ruffle Crumbs is the one that's on winner side of Grand Finals right now, so it is in uh, kind of in his favor to just be able to you know take. If he wants to, he can take time and figure out maybe if the stripe's gonna work. Maybe he'll figure out the patterns of how House Arrest goes into the reset. But um, you could also go into the Aria right now and make an attempt to try and end it all. But you know, Ruffle Crumbs did have a lot of time to watch, and you know that that matchup against Alex did show that Stripe has some options to play keep away, Niall. And uh, I think yeah. that might possibly be looming over uh, Ruffle Crumbs right now. Yeah, we. this is this is an interesting scenario, to say the least, because I feel like Ruffle Crumbs did do well on the Stripe there. But then it's like, since you are in winner side, you have, like you said, you have time to adapt, right? You have time to, to initiate a little bit of a download and say, hey, okay, I'm picking up on a little of their tendencies. Maybe if I switch over to the Aria here, maybe I can get some value. Ruffle Crumbs can be patient with this, right? They they have their time that they can take, and we'll have just to see how much time Ruffle Crumbs is willing to take. Because I feel as though you don't really want to get into a reset. Because if a reset happens, then House Arrest will have that momentum going into the next set. And I feel as though momentum is something that is very contagious and very hard to stop once you have it. I mean, the House Arrest definitely on it right now because he's uh, he's been playing uh since losers quarter straight uh essentially up to this point and uh he's uh, you know he's definitely warmed up we've been playing a bunch of characters at that well yeah. warmed up but um you know bears repeating i mean it's it's it's, it's story time it's story time with ajax uh and this is my favorite story to tell because um those who are on the loser side of bracket in multiverses <laughs> tournaments so far in history have had a greater winning percentage against those who are on winning side of bracket. Mm -hmm. This has been a pretty consistent theme 
so far for the uh you know the major events land events uh and multiverses official events now it hasn't happened every time because a specific team that was able to stop that last time was alex and j mafia in the make it rain dog uh um tournament uh 2v2 edition yeah. but uh here it's once so it's a little bit different uh speaking of which there it is right there we were talking about it before um you have um the top three all featuring at least one player from each one and uh it's uh it shows consistency they've been playing very well and uh, i've been super impressed by it also i'm not specifically talking about just <laughs> that team by the way it happened at first attack too it happened at a couple other events it happened during one of the qualifiers it's not just them people just have been getting buffs on the being on the loser side of bracket <laughs> uh, it really doesn't matter who is on the other one uh so um it's uh it's been pretty stressful uh, however ruffle crumbs of course just uh debating heavily on what they're going to do for a counter pick and that counter pick is going to bring us to trophy's edge as the uh as the follow-up stage going away from the triplets which uh begs the question i'm wondering if the aria does come out here now uh because you have a little bit more room to work with and i think to be honest i think you need to try and stop this now like you were just saying a second ago yeah yeah you, you got to be able to stop this now you you can't dude, i feel like you said like you were saying bro momentum is such a scary thing dude it's such a scary thing I, you don't really want to be able to give it to the opposition i think if you're mm -hmm. ruffle crumbs bro you you can't really do too much to experiment i think you just got to go with what you know uh, exactly and uh we are and it's looking like yeah it's looking like ruffle crumbs is gonna do it yep the water dancer is gonna show back up the aria is going to get back out here to see if she can get the job done here for ruffle crumbs um you know the uh first attempt at it with the stripe was close it was close it's not like it was bad it was close but it was not uh enough to be able to finish it out and now at this point it's like well I don't think I really want to afford the reset. I want to try and go with my best foot forward as we're going to see the Aria now show back up from Ruffle Crumbs. He has won a tournament recently as a community event and uh, looking to win another one here potentially, but this time a different opponent in House Arrest who is trying to get as well another W in their favor because he's also won a couple 1v1 tournaments himself. Yeah, this is this is going to be like, like we were saying earlier, dude, both of these players have experience in these sorts of positions, right? uh and it's really just going to come down to i feel like ruffle comes adapting to the stripe and then house arrest be able to keep up the momentum they have if ruffle comes <laughs> is able to adapt if they're able to pick up some of these habits and call them out for it then we'll see ruffle comes get back into this but it's really coming down to how much time they want to take to do so so ruffle comes I think now is the time, bro. I don't think you want to give them any momentum. Yeah, and Niall, chat's not out for my well-being. They, they want me. <laughs> they want me to play whoever wins this afterwards. I'm going to bed. We bro, got, same here. We got another match here, game number two, uh, with uh, Ruffle Crumbs and House Arrest. Of course, Ruffle Crumbs is going to go ahead and bring out that Aria here to make an attempt to try and shut down this momentum from House Arrest. Oh yeah, look at how speedy House Arrest is on the strike with those platforms. He literally does one jump and gets to the center of the stage right there. And here comes a little bit of combos going on for House Arrest. I love the spacing that they're doing with their attacks as well. They're kind of just staying clear of that sort of Aria, but now Ruffle Crumbs getting their damage in as well, Ajax. Ruffle Crumbs is going to go ahead and get that speed boost applied. Look at him fly, but he's going to also fly towards the top. Luckily, was a little bit too far away to get that potential read on that double up special. Gets one shot, but good dodge in from Ruffle Crumbs to get back down to center. You see the blade being put out on the side. Right now, House Arrest just kind of sitting back, looking for... Oh, but they get punished from it. What a great up special on the side air confirm. And that's one of those things you just you can't be caught lacking there trying to pull out your TNT. You have to be careful. You have to respect Aria. Exactly. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Oh, big combo coming in. Good dodge. Perfectly great. timed by House Arrest, though, to get back down. Yeah, really good dodge right there from Ruffle Crumbs. Now Ruffle Crumbs, oh, sorry, from House Arrest. House Arrest is going to have to figure out a way to get this response, but Ruffle Crumbs getting that dagger almost had an end or a juggle situation, but House Arrest able to get out of it, and there's the down air. Ruffle Crumbs 
responding and getting back into the set, Ajax. That was well done by him, too, because if you were paying attention to the route that was tracked by Ruffle Crumbs, you Again, saw all the resources got the used down. because he tried to shift away to the left. He had good KBI. I, I wonder if he's using Tasmanian trigonometry because he's fallen out of these combos a couple times now. Yeah. It might also just be maybe the, the hitbox size of Stripe. Who knows? But um, he tried to drift away. Then he got hit out of his jump. Then he tried to stall it up here. But because he tried to stall too long, he went to the bottom. And mm -hmm. that means you get a free charge down air as Arya. Yeah. You just need to make sure you don't mess it up. But once they touch the wall, they can't instantly dodge once they touch the wall. So that's a guaranteed punish. And uh, that's going to give Ruffle Crumbs a W and evening up the set. Oh, yeah. I, I always said the, the bottom of the blast zone to use in trying to recover near that wall is usually just a death trap. In, in a lot of situations, the only way you can really go is up. And if you try to air dodge away from the wall and then go back in towards the stage, most of the time your opponent will have time to recover from the, the, their missed attack, like a down air, and then further edge guard you. It, it is a rough position to be in when you're trying to recover back to the stage. Yeah. And uh, I mean, a big common theme for all the Arias when they're doing well, it's actually that most of the time it's when they're doing really well at landing theirs because mm -hmm. uh you know i mean outside of the aria mirror matches where people are flying off the top all the time because you're both looking for the same thing yeah. uh against everyone else everyone else is trying to play campy ish against you to get around what's going on uh here in grand final so uh you you have to find your dares you have to find your spikes you have to find your openings and uh that's a very crucial fact to be able to succeed uh, against uh, pretty much anybody else. So we're going to see Ruffle Crumbs move it up to an even set count. Uh, House Arrest is doing that thing where I'm confused about what he might be going next. Okay, characters Dude. are shifting. Characters are shifting. House Arrest is doing that thing where he's trying to show everybody he can play everyone. But he's going <laughs> to he's gonna stop it and he's going to pick up the stripe. So we're going to go into game number three here. Even one game apiece, Niall, where it's going to still be the Arya versus the stripe. Yeah, House of Us loves to do that, loves to toy with us a little bit, but hey, look, it just makes it all the more interesting. We have Arya, we have Stripe, we're going to be getting to this next game, and if I saw it correctly, Ajax, I believe we're going to Tree Fort. Interesting. That's what I saw. Interesting, not too surprising, though, because that has been an uh, that has been available counterpick a couple times, and, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm, uh, Ruffle Crumbs, I, I definitely banned, uh, the, the triple platforms, and uh i probably i mean i wouldn't be hard pressed to see him ban tri uh the trophy's edge too just to take that away but we're gonna start here on tree Fort instead uh they're gonna be boxing up close and personal and utilizing that speed boost as often as you can but that does now open up the fact that you're right next to aria always oh yeah aria you definitely don't want to be too close to that character because they can set up some really good juggle combos but here goes house arrest looking for some juggle combos of their own using that gun to combo extend Great stuff there from House Arrest. Good combo break by that saw blade to be able to shut that down. House Arrest is crazy for that one. Jumping off the stage while the blade was attached, trying to use the TNT as a way to escape, but that could have easily been a, a, a teleport there. Yeah, teleport there for sure. I love the usage of the blades on the platforms for House Arrest, not just as a speed boost, but also for stage control and making it difficult for Ruffle Crumbs to even approach them. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty consistent. Like, look, come here. Get, get, get over here. Like, try and fight me on this. Oh, uh, well, I mean, he showed up. Oh, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Oh, wow, it was on the attack decay. So never mind. He actually walked away from that one. Yeah, it's just the cider coming out. Able to get that KO for Ruffle Crumbs. House of Risk going to find a way to respond now. Yeah, okay. Look, shout out to the, the voice actors with their uh, with all the effort because Stripe getting knocked out. That scream is absolutely hilarious. That is a <laughs> jump rip, though. That's a dodge. And using the stare on an aggressive approach to get back in because if you don't do that, you're getting hit by that Stripe stare. You are already out of your resources. Yeah, very good shot right there into the stare from House Arrest. And now that is a match point making this game even. Uh-oh. Oh, well, yeah, this is about to be a very short-lived statement. <laughs> as we yeah, I know. To see the other special come in. The blade gets sent away, though. That dare does not find its mark. And they're at, like you said, one, uh, one stock of beast at the moment. Blade is not available to him to get the combo extensions. House Arrest is struggling a little bit. But this is where House Arrest is so dangerous. He does not get it, though, because he boxes his way out with the out special. Yeah, as we see that blade being active on the right side of the platform, House Arrest trying to use that to their advantage, has the speed boost here, trying to apply it again. And I love how Ruffle Crumbs is just retreating to the center of the stage as soon as they know House Arrest wants to approach. They're trying to get away as fast as possible and make sure that speed boost is not online for House Arrest to use. 
Exactly. I mean, he's just playing ground. It's like, look, yeah, I'm gonna let you do it. He's gonna go for TNT. He's gonna go for TNT. He tried it, but he did not get the spike he was looking for. That's one, that's two dares, but that is a big play right now for Arya as you're able to snipe him out of the sky because he went off stage too far. And now Ruffle Crumbs moves into tournament set point, hitting him with that side air and being up now two to one, trying to win the first 1v1 edition of Make It Rain Dog. Great side air right there from Ruffle comes able to catch House Arrest off stage, and that's been one thing that we've been kind of noticing. House Arrest has been a little bit, I guess, you know, bold with their edge guarding situations and trying to go off stage to potentially punish Ruffle Crumbs. But Ruffle Crumbs has been taking advantage of it here at that last part. We'll have to see how that plays out for the majority of or the remainder of this set because there could potentially be only one more game left hx yep and this is a difference between 27 uh excuse me 250 and 175 for the prize pools right now for first and second place trying to find a way to get that w ruffle comes looking for another w to put in their pocket and uh i've been very impressed by the way ruffle comes has been able to answer back because house arrest has been very difficult to hit in the air but one thing he's doing well, he's, he's waiting for House Arrest to overextend. And when he does, he punishes him for it. Because all you need is one up special and a, just either a Sare or a good read. But that was two yeah. up special Sares to close that game out. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Those up special Sares have been really, really good. It's like most of the time you're looking for the up air. Most of the time it's like after the up special, you expect an up air. But Ruffle comes going for something a little bit different here. And so you have to imagine going into this next game, Ruffle comes may start to look for up air instead of the side air. 100%. Uh, I mean, you mix it up. You try to catch them on a KBI read. You try to get them to go somewhere else. And uh, it's... Uh, I mean, it's not like House Arrested Stripe has been bad either. I think it's just the yeah. biggest thing is that Ruffle Crumbs has just finally figured out where he's he's making mistakes. And that's kind of the name of the game with Arya. You make one mistake and she makes you pay for it with potentially your stock. Um, and looks like that theme is continuing even without the blade in the picture. He's getting yes. him off the sides and he's trying to close out this event with one more victory. Yeah, well, we shall see. We shall see. House Arrest still trying to select a character. It looks like House Arrest going to be taking a little bit of time to really think about this because, you know, obviously their tournament lives are on the line. If they want to be able to win this grand finals, they're going to have to win a few more games. But right now, Ruffle Crumbs I, is sitting pretty. I wouldn't even lie. I want like... Uh... House arrest is somebody who I wouldn't even be confused if he pressed the random button. <laughs> I, 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 like, I, I agree. Just, he just would, he would just do it. But um, uh, looks like house arrest is uh, taking a second to get himself established, possibly a little bit late into the entry on that. So we'll wait for him to get that situated. But reminder to everybody that this is make it rain dog. And if you want to play in one of these tournaments yourself, there is of course signups that go out and it is every two weeks uh, with, uh, 2v2s being the next one that's going to be happening right around the corner. It's, again, a $500 prize pot. It is split differently depending on twos and ones, of course. But it alternates between uh, doubles and singles biweekly every two weeks. The next one being 2v2s, pay out the top three. And it is uh, the one of the brand-new series put together by Player First Games. Uh, big appreciation to them, of course, for what they've been able to put on for us. And... Um, uh, you know, the constant support that they keep giving us. So yes. thank you so much for everybody who has uh, been uh, supporting this throughout the day. And uh, we'll be getting into this match momentarily uh, once we get this, uh, once we get house arrest back in here and uh, get this match going. But I, I, Niall, who do you think is going? I personally think that he's going to stick with the strike. It just makes sense. Yes. Uh, yes. Be, yeah. It's like, it's, it's your, it's now, now you're on final chance opportunity. And I don't think you go chance time and uh, go into uh, the box of tricks to try and hopefully get that sneaky W with that like last second counter pick. Yeah, dude, I I I really think that you you know you stick to what you work with. In terms of, st I think stage pick is a, a little bit of a different story. Um, I think Ruffle Crumbs performed pretty well there on Tree Four, to be quite honest. So I would not want to run back to that. I see y'all. Thank you for saying we're infectious. I appreciate it, man. We're trying to I do saw, our best I, out I here. I saw that too. Hey, look. <laughs> all I'm saying is that uh, the energy of um, the tournament and the chat is determined by how positive we are here on the mic. And I'm going to tell yes. you right now, we will always be positive because we love this game. 
love this community. We love the developers and everybody behind the scenes for it. Because this game is new. It's still early. There's a lot of time to go. Regardless of where things are right now, this is not going to be the same game a year from now. And it's only going to continue to oh, get yeah. better. And oh, we're yeah. going to always have the same level of hype for this now and this in the future. And we're enjoying ourselves. So thank you so much for everybody who's been watching with us today. Uh, Niall, me and you have... This is the first time I've actually been able to talk to you at length outside of what I like met you at Evo. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we, we, we've really gotten to chat it up a little bit over these uh, over this odd uh, day. But I, you know, as always, um, I've told people this before. Uh, my favorite place in the world is sitting on the mic and talking about games because it's my escape. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we got to do this all during this incredible event we've been able to watch today. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And I also want to shout out the production team yet again. Sharpie, you're not the only person who's been here for seven hours, okay? I, we're not the only people. You have been here too, all yep. right? So, and Shouts all the other people to, working on the TOs, production, getting the brackets set. Uh, this is, it's a lot of people, a lot of people with their hands. In hey the everybody, what's people. up? It's me, the streamer to Purple Sharpie Stream Can Hear Me. Just came live to come say I'm actually going to be hosting Apex 2022. Multiverses oh, yes. will have a $750 pot bonus courtesy of myself. Um, so if you haven't already, be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for supporting Multiverses. And thank you so much for always giving me an opportunity to be here with some amazing people. Let's go support support your events. Make yes, sure you go ahead please. and get out there. That's coming in straight from Sharpie. A $750 pop bonus going towards that sign up. So make sure you go sign up for that. And we're going to be getting into now what could potentially be the final tournament match of the day. If House Arrest isn't able to solve this Aria, we are getting into game number four here with Ruffle Crumbs up two to one. Yeah, as already we see Ruffle Crumbs being extremely aggressive. They want to take this home. They want the dough. And right now we see House Arrest going for the TNT mix up as well, Ajax. I love the usage of that. But Ruffle Crumbs gets the dagger stuck onto House Arrest. Let's see what they can do with it. Down air, up special, up air. Not going to KO just yet, though. Good dodges from House Arrest to make sure he didn't get hit by the stair to get sent off stage. But that stair will connect. Won't be enough to get the knockout down. Goes high. Utilizes the TNT to bounce off the stage and kind of mix up his landing. It actually works very well for him but he's got so much damage applied he has to be so careful about how he approaches yeah house arrest just trying to stay mobile here throwing out the skateboard interesting mix up right there from house arrest looking for that speed boost able to get the reticle looking for a juggle and ruffle crumbs able to avoid that up special that could have been huge for house arrest if it landed it doesn't get the dare and the up special he's looking for either. And uh, oh, big punish with the dare on the TNT, but because of the way it rebounded, it actually sent him away. Almost getting a reversal there, putting himself all the way on the bottom of the stage. That Sarah's gonna send him back on. He's still in a bad spot, and Rumble Crumb takes a pay for it as he puts himself on tournament winning point. Great down air there from Ruffle Crumbs and House Arrest needs to be able to respond now. Throws out the gun, trying to get something off of it, but here comes Ruffle Crumbs going in with these approaches. House Arrest not really looking for too many of the saw blades here for the speed boost, but Ruffle Crumbs doing a great job pushing advantage state Ajax. He hasn't been able to! He's been getting overwhelmed as he catches him with the dare in the air! And that's going to be Ruffle Crumbs taking it out with a two stock to finish it! It was a 3-1 victory, stopping House Arrest and getting himself the very first win of the Make It Rain Dog 1v1s edition as Ruffle Crumbs will be your champion here today. Great performance there from both players. Ruffle Crumbs able to take it on the Aria. <laughs> House Arrest able to rep the Stripe. Hey, y'all, Stripe's a good character. Stripe's a good character, but Ruffle Crumbs uh, on the Aria. <laughs> <laughs> well done <laughs> well done to everybody 